Key findings from storm assessments and societal studies show that a majority of people identify local outdoor warning systems as their first source of warning and then seek confirmation from additional sources before seeking shelter. Another key finding is that credible risk signals prompt people to take protective actions. The following presentation will outline a demonstration and evaluation of an effort to enhance National Weather Service severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings to more effectively communicate severe weather hazards to the media and emergency management communities in order to facilitate improved public response and decision making. The impact-based warning experimental product began in 2012. Positive Feedback is supporting an expansion and continuation in the spring of 2015 to include 38 offices in Central Region, 19 in Southern Region, 7 in Eastern Region, and 3 in Western Region. The impact-based warning experimental product is designed to relay more information to the media and emergency management communities during life-threatening weather events by making the information easy to access and identify. The project leverages this additional information in an attempt to achieve the ultimate project goal of improved public response and decision-making during life-threatening weather situations. The intended outcomes of this product will be to optimize the convective warning system within the existing structure by focusing on impact-based information to motivate proper response to warnings by distinguishing situational urgency to realign the warning message in terms of societal impacts and to more concisely communicate recommended actions and precautions. Through the use of the product, the National Weather Service will evaluate the ability to distinguish between low impact and high impact events. The information added to severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings will be evident within the third bullet of warning text through hazard, source, and impact information. Additional information will also be placed at the bottom of the warning with the addition of the threat tags. Information will be presented within these threat tags to provide quick identification of storm characteristics, including the presence of an observed tornado, maximum expected hail size, as well as indications of forecaster confidence regarding tornado damage potential. The threat tags are designed to communicate hazard and risk information only and are not designed to identify tornado intensity in relationship to an EF scale. Impact-based warning enhancements are designed to improve communication of critical information, make it easier to quickly identify the most valuable information, and enable prioritization of key warnings. The enhancements will also provide different levels of risk within the same product, enabling the National Weather Service to express a confidence level of potential impacts and risk. The impact-based warning product will be evaluated by social science research groups and the National Weather Service through a timely and repetitive process. Media partners, emergency management, the public, and National Weather Service forecasters will provide feedback via focus groups and surveys throughout the experiment. This feedback will be used to help analyze the success of the experimental product and to also assist in identifying areas where further enhancements can be made to reach the goal of providing the best possible service during life-threatening weather. To provide feedback directly to the National Weather Service regarding this experimental product, please complete the satisfaction survey at the provided link.